Hey everybody, this is Transformatron bringing you another video review, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the 2007 Transformers movie. Today, um, I'm a little sick today, so this re video review is probably going to sound funny, but, you know, okay. So, I have a cold, so it's not going to sound very good, and it might not be very loud, but hopefully it will be loud enough. Okay, so... <clears throat> Um, the movie was made in 2007 by Michael Bay. Michael Bay is the director. And I think he did a really good job. Um, yeah, so it is PG-13. For language. For language. Intense sequences of sci-fi action. And that's really blurry so you cannot see it. And language, so yeah. So, um, yeah. Um, Transformers One is about these giant robots that crash. That no, first, the first part of the movie cuts in where this helicopter would is flying into a military base, and um. He, um, they don't know that he's a Decepticon, but, um, yeah, and then, in one sec, I'm positioning my camera again, and yes, I have a pink cat. Okay. And then, so, he's flying into the military base, and he, um, the, the military people do a check on him, and um, one guy says that he was shot down, so they're on, they're like, what? So they're on um, high alert. He comes in, and they want him to get out of the helicopter, but of course there's nobody there. So he transforms, and that's how the movie, um, and he blows up a bunch of stuff. So that's how the movie starts. <sighs> and then it goes into, like, this boy, teenage boy, who's in school, and he, he wants to get his first car. Which is going to be Bumblebee, which is um, that one. But he is in a classic Camaro mode. So, and at first he doesn't know that he's a Transformer until he sees him um, transform in the middle of the night. Because he, th he chased it because he thought somebody was um, stealing it. But anyway, okay, so, there's, yeah. So then he meets this girl at school that he's known for a while named Michaela, and they start dating, um, stuff like that, and then, yeah, I'm trying to think of what else to say here, um, okay, so then, like, a police car, which is Barricade, comes and chases them, um, hopefully I will be able to show pictures of these in a little bit when I tell you, um, about the characters, um, so, yeah. He chases them, and then they they end up meeting the rest of the Autobots. So they all come in, and um, the first to transform is Prime, Optimus Prime. And, and then the rest of them transform. So, one sec, I need to turn my light. My light failed. I gotta turn on my light. So, oops. Here we go. Not very good light, but okay. So, then um, Optimus Prime comes in. He transforms and tells them about what happened in Megatron and all that stuff. So, Optimus Prime is the leader of the um, Autobots. He is a Prime, so he has these funny ear things. This is Optimus Prime's head right there. Yeah, they're funny little ear thingies. And, um, yeah, so he's the leader of the Autobots. <coughs> um, so. And then he introduces all of his, um, Autobots. And then, yeah. So, Bumblebee, who's this guy right here? Bumblebee. He is, um, what's that?
<laughs> One sec, sorry. Um, so, yeah, so, Ratchet, which is, oh, sorry, this guy is the medical officer, so he's, you know, kind of geeky and weird, and then Ironhide is the weapon specialist, so he's going to be big and bulky and stuff, and then Autobot Jazz is the second lieutenant, and he is, um, a Pontiac Solstice in the movie. Uh, silver Pontiac Solstice, so he's really cool. And then toward the end of the movie, Megatron unfreezes from because the people. Okay, so let me back up a little bit. So the reason they came to Earth was they were looking for the cube, which is this right there, but it's supposed to be bigger. But somehow they condensed it to that small. Um. They were looking for that, and then Megatron came here looking for the er, for the cube. He crash landed, and then people later found him. Or actually, no, Sam's grandpa found him in a little accident in the Antarctic. So he found him, and then later, these uh, Secret Service people or something, whatever they are, come and they find it and they take it back to their base. So, and then toward the end of the movie, um, this little robot who's, um, goes inside Barricade's chest is, a uh, Frenzy, um, he unfreezes Megatron, so he gets free, okay, so, Megatron is the leader of the Decepticons, he is not very nice at all, like, no, not at all, um, so, yeah, and then Starscream is his second lieutenant, sort of, Barricade is a minion, sort of, so, yeah, anyway, um, yes, I recommend that you watch this movie a lot, because it is very, very good, but, um, be careful, because it does have bad language in it, but, yeah, so I give this movie a, um, 5 out of 5 for action, 4 out, or 5 out of 5 for story, and, um, Four out of five for me, family friendliness, I guess. Um, just because it is scary, a little scary. Well, it, no, it's not really scary, but it can be scary. So, yeah. But yeah, okay. Let me turn around to the movie again, so you can see the movie. Right, like this. Okay, so we adjust my little tripod here. Okay, so that right here, let me zoom out, is Bumblebee. That is his new Camaro. This is Optimus Prime, and um, that's Megatron. This is Captain Lennox, Sam Witwicky, and Michaela Baines, I think it is. So, yeah, so. It's a really good movie. I recommend it a lot. And yeah. So thanks for tuning in. And soon, hopefully, I will be doing a review. Maybe tomorrow I might do a review. I will be doing a review of the Transformers 2 Revenge of the Fallen movie. Thanks. Bye.